Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to be talking about yet another unusual discovery that seems to present us with a solution to another interesting mystery. The mystery of this unusual astrophysical jet that seems to suddenly bend by about 90 degrees and going in a different direction for some unusual reasons. And this is in a galaxy or a galactic cluster known as Abel 3376. And so today we're going to be talking about this paper right here that investigated this cluster, used the supercomputer to simulate some of the effects in this cluster, and pretty much found a really cool technique for discovering magnetic fields in galactic clusters. But first of all, magnetic fields. So today we know that pretty much most of the objects in the universe to some extent will have some sort of a magnetic field around them. So for example, obviously our sun with the magnetic lines creating a lot of different effects on the surface, Obviously, our own planet has a magnetic field that's responsible for protecting the atmosphere and a lot of other things on the surface. But even as we move out of the solar system and start looking around, we start discovering certain effects of the magnetic field there as well. So one local example is the local cloud. It's this unusual formation that's a few light years across that's basically a gas cloud. But the Voyager probes discover that it also seems to possess quite a strong magnetic field which essentially holds this cloud together, and there are a lot of these clouds all over the galaxy. Now the magnetic field here is obviously not as strong as the planet Earth, but it is strong enough to more or less keep this cloud as a cloud for millions and millions of years. But then over the years, as the scientists use various types of polarized light telescopes to try to investigate Milky Way galaxy and some of the other galaxies, they came up with several techniques to see these beautiful magnetic fields in various galaxies near us and of course in our own galaxy as well. So this one here is from Centaurus A with the magnetic lines visible as these structures you see on the picture. And here's sort of what our own Milky Way looks like if you were to try to visualize the magnetic lines stretching across the entire galaxy. And so a lot of these magnetic fields do interact with gas in the galaxy and to some extent guide it and move it around the galaxy, in some cases even helping galaxies grow. But when it comes to some of the strongest and most powerful magnetic fields, there is really no comparison to what we can find in the middle of a typical galaxy. So these supermassive black holes in the middle, with their extremely large and very energetic accretion disks, can usually generate magnetic fields that are so powerful that they end up creating the jets that you see. And so today the explanation for these so-called astrophysical jets is basically ridiculously powerful magnetic lines that snap once in a while producing these jets. And as you might know from some of the previous videos, the material in these jets can move to really close to the speed of light. With the most famous such jet being the one from the galaxy known as M87, the galaxy famous for that first picture of a black hole. This jet is about 5000 light years in length and it's also produced by these very powerful magnetic fields near the black hole. But some of these jets can be way way longer and be produced by much stronger magnetic fields. And I've actually talked about some of them in some of the previous videos. But here we're really talking about magnetic fields in general. So it seems that everything in galaxies has magnetic fields. But what about outside of galaxies? What about the intergalactic space? So what about the space between galaxies such as for example in large galactic clusters where there might be a lot of gas and a lot of interaction as well? Would those regions also have magnetic fields? Well, until now, it was pretty much impossible to know. Obviously, there were speculations, but there were no observations. And without observations, it's just a hypothesis. But the scientists behind this study decided to investigate the famous cluster known as Abel 3376, located about 600 million light years away from us. That's particularly interesting because in the middle of this cluster, the most powerful and the brightest galaxy with the biggest black hole seems to have this strange astrophysical jet that suddenly turns 90 degrees and goes in a different direction and also seems to do so on both sides. And that by itself is first of all a mystery, but also an opportunity to study possibly magnetic fields in these clusters. And that's the assumption that the scientists made here. They used the computer simulation to try to recreate some of the effects that a potential magnetic field in these clusters would produce. And by using a supercomputer known as Aterui 2, which is the most powerful astronomical calculations supercomputer, they were able to create a model that more or less showed them what most likely happens in this jet and how this jet is very likely affected by the magnetic field between the galaxies. Realizing that what's happening here is most likely described in this picture. 
we have these two jets coming from the black hole and then they actually collide with something invisible right here and create a kind of a backflow that then creates the mushroom-like formation we see here and here. But interestingly enough, afterwards, some of these particles end up being re-accelerated and moving in this direction, which is also visible here as well. And the most likely explanation here is literally some kind of a very powerful magnetic wall. Or a wall-like formation with a lot of magnetic force that can literally stop an astrophysical jet in some sense very similar to what you see here. A spray of water that gets bounced off by the asphalt or by the road itself. Which of course means several things. First thing is that now we seem to have a technique to potentially observe and map all of these invisible magnetic fields by using nearby astrophysical jets and the interaction of particles coming from the jets and then somehow redirected by the fields. While at the same time developing a really interesting computer technique that can then recreate some of these effects and obviously allow the scientists to explain what sort of a field might be present in the region and what kind of interaction we can expect from some of the other nearby objects. Or essentially allowing us to now see magnetic fields present outside of galaxies that most likely interact with galaxies in some way or another. Now obviously this here only shows us one of these magnetic layers, but the scientists in this paper speculate that there are probably several different magnetic layers present in between of these galaxies and by using this technique we can probably start mapping everything, figuring out what sort of a magnetic field all of this forms. And so far the preliminary simulations indicate that the magnetic field is basically sort of C-shaped, like you see right here, with an unusual double formation that you can see forming here, that seems to extend all the way across for millions and millions of light years, sort of wrapping this whole galaxy around. And considering the jet here is several hundred thousand light years long, this is a huge structure. You can basically fit several Milky Way galaxies in there. And it also seems to be a relatively strong structure. And so I guess the question is, what exactly formed it? And the explanation that the scientists provide so far is sort of related to the way that the galaxies interact with one another. As they move around and as they sort of pass through each other's regions, they usually leave behind a lot of different wakes, a lot of gas-like formations. You can kind of see some of them in this simulation from the Illustris project. And once these wakes start to form around these galaxies and around these clusters, which by the way also relates to this unusual large Magellanic wake that is created around our own galaxy, and that's also a video you can check out on the channel that should be popping up somewhere right there. What this suggests is that these gas formations and these wakes seem to be present in most clusters and very likely have these very powerful magnetic effects. Although this type of an effect is definitely rare, this is something that we haven't really seen very much. Which does suggest that the magnetic field for this particular cluster seems to be extremely strong. And so this unusual comet-like structure that's several million light years across is most likely formed by some sort of a gas discontinuity right in this region that produces these magnetic fields as various types of plasma gas interact with one another. And since the jet particles seem to be re-accelerated in two directions right here, it only reinforces the idea that right in this region there is some major magnetic field interaction, very likely formed through some sort of a galactic interaction previously, where several galaxies might have collided and created some sort of a density discontinuity. Or in simpler terms, a really really large plasma cloud with a lot of charged particles. In some sense similar to the local cloud I mentioned previously, but with extremely powerful magnetic fields able to redirect an actual astrophysical jet. And so obviously by using a similar technique, the scientists can now start mapping the magnetic fields in other galactic clusters as well, and possibly even start mapping intergalactic space that up until now was more or less invisible to us. Which means that we can now start exploring the previously invisible areas between galaxies and discover what hides between them by studying the effects from these jets striking those regions and possibly being deflected by them. Now obviously this doesn't happen with all the jets and a lot of the jets are just straight and end up producing something like this, but there are definitely a few galactic clusters, usually more massive and ones with a lot of interaction, where some of these jets do form unusual shapes, which means that it will definitely allow scientists to start mapping that space allowing them to visualize what sort of hides between the galaxies in those regions. 
But I guess until we discover more or until we find some other unusual jets out there or solve another mystery, that's all I wanted to mention in this video. Pretty interesting study, really interesting analysis and a pretty cool discovery, but for now that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and subscribe if you still haven't, share this with someone who has learned about space and sciences, maybe come back tomorrow to learn something else, and maybe support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Either way, stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye.